What's up? Well, today I'm actually doing some puzzles and stuff like that. This is a really satisfying, fun day. Um, and what I'm working on now is a spirit button. So this is where you have to use um, your meditation or a cactus to get into like a spiritual state and that will reveal a button. So I'm thinking this can work for just about anything. Like there could be a spirit wall, a spirit pillar, spirit fire pillar, spirit everything. And it's just stuff that basically you have to use. pause a minute, use some, one of those things that causes you to, you know, just, you know, be in more of a reflective state as a player, a meditative state. And then, um, yeah, that will reveal secrets and stuff like that. So, um, all right. So this is a little offline video. All right, so the first thing I need to do is create a tile. Call it spirit, spirit button downward. I'm also really excited to do a, a spirit wall. The spirit wall is gonna be pretty cool because It'll act a lot like a bombable wall, like you set a bomb, it blows up and opens up this wall. Uh, but the spirit wall is going to be you meditate and then it just blows up walls. So it's going to be pretty cool to see like some real physical actions happening from your more metaphysical action. All right, now let's go to constants. It's the button, actually let's do a search for all button downwards. Oh, not button down. Okay, so I can do this, like if um, is spirit is um, if blocks is area pause x y uh, k tile spirit button downward all right so if that's the spirit button downward then we're going to use a different data auto complete is spirit then is spirit button downward Oh, I just got this really cool new thing I got to remember to use. Um, I remapped some of my keys in Vim, so it's a lot more intuitive for me as a personal thing just to jump. Um, I can jump up 10 lines or down 10 lines. So handy. Because in all the page, page ups and page downs I've ever used in any freaking editor ever, page up always kind of like throws you at some different location sometimes, and then you're all, what, what, if, you, if I just wanted to page up two times and then page down back two times, it will not always put you in the same place. So this is super cool, because Vim's so tight about that kind of stuff. I can go up 10 lines, down 10 lines, and be like back exactly where I was. And then also, so that's um, Shift J, so basically in, in Vim you've got your H, J, K, and L, is your like your, you know, H is left, L is right, J is down, K is up. Um, so you're keeping your hands on the home row. But I just remap Shift J to be my basically like my half page down and half page up is Shift J, Shift K. And then Shift H is basically the same thing as typing B in Vim normally. But I think that's not very intuitive at all. At least personally for me, it's not very intuitive. So I map those to be Shift H and Shift L, which is sweet. Works really well for me. Okay, so side note over. We got the spirit button downward. Um, we need the data a little bit. We need to turn on like its render component as um, um, additive lighting, and it's invisible at first, always. 
And, oh, and it has no collision. Mask, it should have no mask at first. Okay. And should have no category neither. Okay, so let's put those back in, but comment them out. So yeah, it's basically, you can't even, it's not a solid object, you can't interact with it, you can't feel it, you can't collide with it, it and it cannot be collide, collided with your stuff, like your sword and stuff like that. Okay, so where does it keep its store HP? Probably by default, it probably does not have a light at first. Uh, let's keep the light just so it's work it's pretty clear. I guess it can have the profile button. Okay. <clears throat> Get those two done. All right, so Creating a K tile spirit button downward will also use the same function. No bulldoze, right? You can't bulldoze over these. Gotta remember to use my shift L there. Oops, we can just do the same. Oh man. Oh, when we're adding gates, don't overwrite. Button tile, what's this? Puzzle bridge. All right, puzzle bridge does not use the spirit button, of course. Uh, what's this one? Gosh, I need to put these all in the functions. Chest one, of course, that's a regular button. Okay, so these are going to be mostly keep these as button downwards, yeah. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. We should have the ability to use these now. All right, now we need an area that is going to use them. Um, this area we're in actually might be a good place to do it. No, wait, 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 wait. I think these should be more like used for secret areas. Yeah, because, okay. Because the spirit button basically is something that's not obvious as a player. So it's not going to lock you in this room. You get This is basically a puzzle. You get into this room. You there's It's like not clear what's going on at all because it's an invisible block. You can't see it. And then if you meditate or if you use a cactus, it reveals it. And then you can hit the button and then it reveals a hidden chest. So it's basically a hidden chest which means that it needs to have an item. And if it has a key, then that's kind of tricky for the whole dungeon. It adds a real kind of difficult trick to the whole dungeon if that's if one of those is an important key. But if it's a, um, an optional item, like um, scanner drones or the biodetector, um, then those are the perfect kind of thing to throw um, to use this pattern for. And I think we'll do that. We'll make a special pattern, basically. Yeah, so we need, oops. Constants. What kind of pattern should this be? This is just the spirit button 
chest pattern. Okay, I need to remember how the world does um, creates its chest patterns because these chest patterns are different than anything here we go yeah if we have the chest what is this function choose pattern oh right right in world choose pattern So wait a minute, choose pattern. All right, so we could override everything here. Okay, so add foes happens after you choose the pattern. Oh, add foes happens after you choose the pattern, so we could make us freaking foes for this. All right, great, good. These are better because so we can do it. We can express this with data, basically. All right. So puzzle. What kind of pattern is this going to be? Is it going to require doors? No, because it's just a chest. All right. So this is we're going to make puzzle H. Well, puzzle I. Okay. So what Z's are these? All right, these are gonna be more difficult. So at least four through nine. Okay, we can do it. Any, anything dungeons four through nine. Flags puzzle, not swordless, but also has chest or chest hidden. Damn, I don't, can't, can't do both. Oh, I could do one like this and the other like no, I don't want to do that. Let's just do chest hidden. So we'll have to <laughs> hope that this works. That it finds a room that, that fits this mold perfectly. Priority, let's make this a priority three. This is like super exciting to try and use this pattern. Yay! All right, so we do need a pattern. Constance. Ah, pattern. It's like kind of a puzzle. Yeah, I guess it's a puzzle. Puzzle. Puzzle spirit. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds about right. Puzzle Spirit 1. Oh, did I forget? I think I, oh, I can't do that anymore. Hmm. I've been messing with my word movement and it messed up that. So I can just do changing a word. Puzzle! Spirit one. Oh man, that's been totally messing me up. I can't do, I can't do this. Gotta change that. Okay, so I'm knopping out all these motions. I really can't do that. I guess I could knop the B's, E's, G's. Even a shift W. 
It's really just W that I use a lot. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Whew. I missed you, W. You're such a good motion. Puzzle. Spirit. Oh, no autocomplete there, eh? What's wrong with you? Hmm. All right, so let's make a pattern. We'll put, we'll start off real simple. Just a spirit block in the middle. All right, so there, we've got a room called Puzzle, whoops, not Puzzle Reward. Puzzle Spirit. Did that, oh, we need a, one of these. No edge path, probably, no added lights, no. That's it. Okay, more constants. All right, good, good. Okay, so we've got that. It should be creating the spirit button and it will just be invisible. But we should see a light in the middle of the screen. Oh, and we'll need to go, I'll need to go find one of these puzzles. Oh, did I even did I even name it the right puzzle? Damn, I don't think I did. This needs to be a uh, yeah puzzle spirit one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So let's run it and see where we can find a puzzle I1 and we'll move the location um, to there. Oops, oh yeah, I forgot. I just started using my log file here in Vim, which is so handy dandy. So puzzle um, I1, not found, damn. That means the game had found no place you could ever put that. What? Look at these predicates again. We've got puzzle, yeah, not swordless, all right, and chest hidden. Oh, no, not puzzle. Oh yeah, this is just a secret room. Actually, yeah, this needs to be a secret. Okay, so we need to have, find a secret room with a hidden chest. Or chest hidden, or I mean a chest. Ah, let's see if it finds this.
Yes. Oh, sweet. We got a few of these. Awesome. Okay, we got 634. This is why it's so handy in Vim. Okay, so sp pattern spare one. What was it, 634? Two three six. And six five seven. Oops. That should be it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's check out a few of these patterns. So we will put the player first there. Oh, looks like it's already visible. Hmm. Wait, did I add that to render component yet? I think I did. What? Set data, man. Doesn't even recognize visible. Wow. Okay. That's an easy one to add. It's kind of one of the more basic, important ones. I would say. This is one of the ones we need to um, be like this. So okay, if if this entity even has a visible data entry, then call it sprite set visible if visible dot get int it's not equal to zero. All right. So if I mess that up, every single thing on the whole screen will be invisible. But if I did it right, then the spirit button should not be visible. And then I'll, fl I'll flip it. Yeah, cool there. Now it's like, oh. Also, I already have this item, apparently. What's up with this? Huh. Looks funny. Okay. Yeah, what item is that? Map four. Huh. Oh, let's get rid of that. Okay. And then the data for the spirit button, let's just make it visible one. So we can prove that that works. Cool. So that's something what it'll look like when it's, <laughs> when it's all visible. That's cool. 
Nice. I love this. It'll become solid. It'll become visible like this and solid once it's active. Maybe it should actually be not additive or, oh, just half opaque. Yeah, something like that. It's more spirity, but it'll be solid. Okay, so it's going to need activate puzzle. Yeah, that's looking good. I love it. Just take any art and make it a little bit like that. Now nah, it's all of a sudden it's a spirit thing. Done. Okay, so let's add the um, the whole activate. It needs to activate via um, Hmm. I don't really have anything like this yet. I mean, I guess I could I, I could call I could add an activate meditate or activate spirit. Huh, man, shit, why not? Sounds, sounds about right. Hold on, what have I changed so far? Here, let's keep this visible one and check all that in so far. We created a spirit button downward, not using it yet. Should have it in the right places. We got his puzzle spirit one pattern, and we also added render components visible data. Cool. Okay, so the next thing is, oh yeah, constants once again. Yeah, we got plenty more bits to use here. Collision, activate, spirit. Yeah, this is a good way to do it. Whenever it kind of becomes a part of a system rather than some um, I don't know, janky part of a system. <laughs> oh, I don't know, this is the non-janky way to do it, it's all. And it turns out that this is almost always the best way to do it is the non janky way. Uh, you're just wasting your time if you're not if you're doing it the janky way, basically. Activate spirit. Let's put this in all the other places that activate something would need to be put. Especially here. Alright. Activate spirit. What's this one? Oh, this is where it creates a chest that activates once you press a button. 
Oh yeah, this is exactly where we want to add this flag. Wait, no, 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 we don't want to do that for those. We just want to make the spirit button activate and that kills its puzzle flag so that um, yeah, I, the spirit, the area will be complete and then triggered. So activate puzzle complete. We're gonna need one of these. Basically, this is kind of the same thing. Activate spirit. No, no, okay, so activate spirit. Um, clears. Basically, you want to activate puzzle. Yeah. Okay, activate spirit basically just does activate puzzle, but this is called in a different way. So Hmm, I don't think this is defined yet, so put this after activate puzzle okay now we've got the means to activate that button now we need to use it so the um, first of all the spirit button needs that as a data so we got activate spirit spirit Okay, and then we need to trigger the activate spirit. When we meditate or use a cactus. So let's try to start with meditation. It's once you sit down after a while reveals secrets hmm revealing secrets oh oh okay we need to create a secret component then for these spirit blocks so that meditation will succeed at revealing stuff Okay, can we create secret components? Shit, I don't know. Create entity. The, this one. Nope. <laughs> ah, which one is it? That's up here. There. Add component. Do we have a secret component? No. No. Oh. We're adding this.
I guess this is probably one of those ones you want to do when you're alive only, though. Can we do that with secret components? Secret components have a door type, that's right. Do we have a door type? None. Empty. Okay, so we need a way to create one of these with the Valtry. Okay, now let's just borrow something from one of the other components. Like, what are we parsing here? Um, the door type. It's probably a word, so we want to use reverse lookup. Oh, I got this. <laughs> this one doesn't even have that. All right, anyways. So, door. Is it, is it door or door type? Oh, it's type. Type equals words. Look up. Data. Get job. Um, it's a secret component. So, mm, door. I might even use this. Words, K, doors. Yeah, that's right. K doors. It's map type. What's wrong? No magic function call and look up. What? Oh. Cause you're, you're a door type. I thought words look up was, oh no, words reverse look up. No, what am I doing wrong here? I'm trying to look up by word. Oh, it is, it is regular to look up. What am I doing wrong? Look up? I wonder where to turn it in. So, oh, like the map type, then the word? Oh. There we go. All right, let's, we've got to confirm this. Okay. 
Now we need to call it, or I mean, give the spirit button downward a secret component. Let's give it a door just so we prove that it parses this correctly. Door type, um, we'll do locked. No, let's confirm that, that gets hit. We we'll create the spirit button downward. Yay! Yep, we're creating a button downward and it should be a spirit true. Cool. Secret, file tree data. Let's make sure this is yep. Secret children, one child door locked, door type, parsing it. Let's see what we get. Words look up. Alright, so we know we got the right words map. And we're looking for the word locked. Let's see if it does it. Return value three. Sweet. So that worked. So does that work? We still got this. Let's see component type. Door locked. Cool. And let's just make sure it still hits this breakpoint. If I change that data and I just say secret one, so it just has a secret component, empty kind of. Cool, type is door empty, perfect. Awesome, yeah, cool, hooked up. Secret components, man, didn't know those were not part of data. Okay, so it's done with that, done with that, done with that. All right, and now that it has a secret component, meditation will succeed, which means Compile it. Um, once we do the reveal, we'll call collision system activate. Activate all, maybe? I forget. Oh yeah, we want to activate all. Okay, activate all. Activator is zero. Flags. Okay, collision. Activate spirit. Okay, there. Okay. All right, we need something more actually. We need for the, the anything spirit to become tangible. Uh, well, wait, let's just see if it's actually, well, well, oh yeah, at least become visible. So let's do that. So in collision system, activate, activate, um, spirit, we need, at least need to become visible. We probably fade in.
So it gets opacity, um, set its opacity, fade in, There we go. Okay, so now we've got something that will happen. So we can test if this whole system works. This is good to have these systems in place because it will really help with making the spirit walls super fast and easier because I already have this activate spirit thing and this this system working this way and stuff. Oh, do we leave it visible? Ow. We need to explicitly set invisible. Cool, all right, we got nothing. Wait, is there light? There, kind of, there is a light, okay. I'm wondering, I'm debating on whether to keep that light there. It's kind of, right, it's interesting. I don't know what it means as a developer and anyone, anyone who gets to know Songbringer will be like, will know exactly what's in this room. Okay, so let's meditate. Damn, didn't work. Did I give it activate spirit? Yeah, it's got activate spirit. Okay, well, we got a chance if um, we gotta hit some breakpoints here. See if it's this, for example. It's activate spirit thing. It looks like it did get its secret component. Oh yeah, we already confirmed that. Okay, well let's confirm this. Do we get activate spirit? Wait, did I even? I don't know if I hook this up. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait. This is super critical here. <laughs> activate spirit needs to call activate spirit, man. Duh. This is one of those things I should have searched for. Let's do a little search. Activate puzzle complete. I did do this. Okay, I just forgot to hook it up there. All right. Probably means I don't need this breakpoint. Let's let's bet on that. Oh, it turned really invisible all of a sudden. Why is it glowing? Can't tell. Yes, it worked, it worked, woo. Okay, um, so next thing, the cactus also needs to activate it. Let's 
whenever you use a cactus, there's no success to a cactus, really. Psychedelic and reveal. Reveal secrets. Yeah, yeah. So this this delay, trigger zero, show secrets. Activate spirit. Okay, it became visible, like all of a sudden, wait, oh, it's doing some kind of weird. I don't know, something wrong with the opacity, but at least the whole system is now, is now put in place. So let's commit that. All right, so now we've got activate spirit. And secret components can be created from data. Activate spirit, activates puzzle. Does it? Maybe it doesn't activate puzzle. Oh yeah, it needs to activate puzzle to remove its puzzle flag. Or something like that, maybe not. And play with that in the next commit. Good commit. All right, I'm gonna get a little more water, be right back. Okay, so now the spirit block needs to become 
um, solid. And then also need to work on whatever its little issues are with um, its, its opacity. There's something weird going on there. It might actually be that I activated, whoops. Let's start over. Activate spirit. Let's try this. Hmm, no. Nah. I should be able to set opacity here. I think maybe I'm actually might be additive. Or the opacity setting, hmm. Oh no, that's where you're supposed to fade to. So weird, but I think it's actually backwards opacity. Maybe because it is at, or I don't know. I don't know. Better just to get it so it's actually becoming solid. So. The trick is, what category are we going to make this? Wow, you know what? It's probably best. Well, wait, no, it's just that we're adding a mask. And a category, a mask in a category, right? Yeah, we're adding a mask in a category. Okay, well, see the category we can, can store as original category, but the mask we can't, and that's the more important part here. Oh. Hmm, I guess we could do a special, a special data right here. Hmm what to call that word, hidden mask, visible mask, <laughs> oh, I got it, call it activate spirit, and put it underneath, there. Much it's more simple. Cool. So we can look for that. This will be a little special thing, only for activate spirit. So auto ref data equals. Let's grab it from this any. So any profile dot get attribute. No no. Dot 
profile.get attribute. Collision dot activate spirit. I think that returns um a val tree. Yeah. Great. So we got the val tree if if we have some data. If we, well, of course we have a collision component. <laughs> we're in the activate, we're in the collision system here, so we don't need to worry about checking for a collision component. Um, if, well, yeah, just e dot collision dot category equals. It's like parse mask, which was the um, collision component. Does it? Yeah, here. Parse the mask. Oh, here. Easily just copy those. Here we go. Parse flags. Data get child category. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. This is something we should. Verify with debugging before trying outright because almost inevitably there's one little thing. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's see if it finds the data. No, didn't. Maybe this is not what I meant by, oh, no, 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 it's not attribute, it's pr um, profile component. Ah, I guess it is get attribute. Mm. Oh, this is a data entity. Ah, so we need to throw this in there. This needs to actually go in the... Ah, it has to go in the profile? I guess that makes sense, actually. Yeah, this does make more sense. Attributes. This is like a data e thing. Okay, so there. It's a good thing we set that little breakpoint because it was revealing. Let's try that again. Oh wait, no, now it can't, now it's not collision, is it? 
Okay, it's just attributes activate spirit. Nice, this time we got data. So our collision category before was zero and the mask was zero. Now the category is 2048 and the mask is something big, perfect. Okay, so that should make the block solid. That was, was super weird. Oh, because I was sliding. Yes, that was kind of cool. I like how it turned into a pillar. Yeah, that was sweet. Awesome. Yes, oh, it's so sweet. So, um, why did it activate via? Oh, because it can activate via anything. We could also do, ooh, what's that function called? Reduce collision. Reduce collision masks, collision system. So we need an area. Yeah, if you have the sword, remove the top hat, go sword, and bomb mask. That's usually what I do for buttons, so let's do that. Reduce collision masks. Hero. Oh, we need the heroes. Um, uh, gear. Okay, so this time I shouldn't be able to hit it with the top hat because I have the sword. This is kind of my little secret trick for how to manage a game with so many items that do so many different things is to make it so basically if you're and and still allow players to um you know play the whole game without all the items is basically you know if something can be triggered is meant to be triggered via the sword then it's only the sword but if you don't have the sword then it just allows you to trigger it via whatever weapon you have so let's do meditate this time i guess we'll work on the opacity next See, meditate, it comes in fine. But then it goes out. I don't get it. <laughs> and I can't hit it? Yeah, I can't hit it with the top hat. But it is solid. There we go. Cool. Something that'll make this a little more interesting is to move the spirit block around and also move the chest pattern around and then also give the room something else as well. So we're gonna to go to the area patterns. Is the data all clean now? Oh yeah, it is. Actually. Yeah, let's just check that in. Spirit button becomes solid. Okay, so puzzle spirit one. We'll add a little bit of um, radius, like, uh, so this is W2 minus rad plus blocks.
This is a um, blocks get rand one area pause um, oh this is yeah plus that mod rad two times rad plus one Okay, so now the button can move around a little bit. And the chest. Chest can either be on top of the button or diagonal, let's say. No, I guess any one of the compass directions would work. Okay, so let's do this. Um, it'll be compass direction, chester equals compass der cast. Um, let's do negative one plus blocks get rand mod number of compass directions plus one Okay, so the chest position is going to be wherever the button is plus do a chest radius. Offset, no. It's um dang, what is this function? Add compass to
Okay, so chest rad times dx. All right, and then c dot y plus chest rad times dy. Okay, so there. Now we should have a random direction. Let's start with um, force directions just to confirm these all work. So the chest direction none means that the button is randomly placed a little bit near the center and the chest is immediately on top of it. Okay, so yeah, there's the button. Oh, I'll put it right below it. Okay, I'm confused. Compaster. Huh, what? You need to debug that. Okay, so we got chest direction none, dx is zero, dy is zero, c is 10, 8 though, that's weird. Is there, wait, wait, wait. Is, there, is there any position applied to this button? No. This is right at the same position. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I have the button. Oh, the chest. Before, what I was seeing was actually the chest being up one, one. Square, okay. So this needs to be plus one. Okay, let's test some more directions. Let's try west. Oops. So, okay, so only dir none needs. Basically, if it's direction none, it needs to be direction north. Or. Or no, no, no. If direction, yeah.
really this is an exception. If I only the chest direction, none, we need to add one. Okay, so west, let's try that again. Oh, we need to put some other stuff in this room before we finish this, actually. Yeah, you can see. Mm, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Oh, see that ground tile? Hmm. I think I'm not applying any chest height, any height to the chests. Ah, definitely not. Okay, well the positions of all items now. Oh, this is maybe not a good idea actually. Yeah, maybe just chests. Or hidden chests, actually. Let's just try hidden chests at first. Dinner's ready in five minutes, yes. Thanks, baby. All of a sudden, I'm like twice as hungry. Hmm, that didn't work. Oh, this is a detail I can work on later. <sighs> okay, let's add some more stuff to this room. I'm thinking of um, right where I did um, puzzle pattern reward. Is that this one? Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about right here. So we've got pillars or sky, it's just thrown in here. This will both work. You know what? Let's do a really tight circle. Let's make it like a only a radius of like three or something crazy small. 
And then the button does a big rectangle. Well, C dot X minus rad. Okay, just so set a little rectangle of nothing, and then also near the chest. And this really needs to be just like one. Ready? I'm coming. Okay, so I'm just gonna run it one last time here and see how this looks with, we should have a swath of tiles around here. And then we should just have a spirit button. Yes, good, we've got more stuff here in this room. This looks good. It, makes, it confuses me a little bit. Like as a, as a designer of this game, I'm not sure what's in this room anymore. Cool. And then just place this pillar there. Some nice, um, we see some, it puts some blank tiles here just to make sure there's room around it. This is a secret room that, let's see, has an entrance. I don't know, where is it? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So there we go. We have compass. And we have um, completed the spirit buttons. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.